Hi everyone, Scott from Pimp My PS3 here again with another tutorial for you. Now if you open up your PS3 and you have a 40 gig or an 80 gig um, and it has a black power supply like you can see here this plastic box here on the left is the power supply. What you're going to need to do is you're going to have to take out one, two, three, four, five screws of the black power supply. If you lift up the unit you unplug the Blu-ray drive and you lift up the Blu-ray drive and you see that it has a little tiny ribbon cable on it underneath with a piece of tape on it so you can't really get the ribbon cable out without bending it or possibly breaking the ribbon cable so the safest way to do this this particular model here is uh, to pull out the five screws from the power supply okay you take out the five screws you unplug this little white wire from the front of the power supply you're going to lift up on the front of the power supply and it pops right off it's just two prongs that hold it in there and two wires on the back you know, push down on the little clip and unplugs the wire from the back put that to the side and as you can see here the ribbon cable this is a tiny ribbon cable um, it actually plugs in underneath the power supply so you have to take the power supply off to get the ribbon cable off. You lift up on the little clip right there. You slide the ribbon cable out like so. Unplug the power for the Blu-ray drive and it comes right out. Okay. Now we're going to show you on the side of it. See how it's taped in there? It's really hard to get in there to access it. What I usually do is I take a little knife and I don't go anywhere near the cable with it. Go outside of the cable about a quarter inch all the way around. Peel that up like so. And it'll come right out. Lift up on the little, another little clip for this side of the ribbon cable. Now you can take them. There's three, three screws along the top here. You're only going to take out the end two screws like I just did. And then flip it around and there's two screws on the bottom side one on each end take those two out like so flip it over unplug your wire same thing as the other drive put your thumb in the black hole and lift up on the back of the case and that top metal casing should come right off I'm going to put that to the side take our little screws that we pulled out put them in a container, a wire in a container. Now you're going to see that this Blu-ray drive has clips. There's one clip here on this side and there's one clip here on this side. There's only two screws in the drive assembly. As you can see here, two screws. One screw here. I'm going to take out the little magnet, put that to the side. Take out our two screws from the front. Lift up on the two clips. And the drive comes right apart. No sensor wire on this drive. As you can see, the top comes right off. Putting it back together is a little more difficult. Right now I'm going to show you how to replace just the laser. Okay. As you can see here, this is the double laser, and there's one screw here. This is the side that the disc goes into on this side, and this is the bottom of it, and this is the one screw that we're going to take out right here. Holds one little metal spring clip in place. I'm going to take that screw out right now. Put that to the side. And there's a little rod right here the rod that it moves on and as you can see there's a little metal push tab that they pushed up I just bend that down like so okay now I'm gonna unclip the ribbon cable and I'm gonna slide the rod back and it comes right out one screw and you bend that little rod uh, the little clip here and it comes right out okay 
Same as the 400 lasers, there's two clips you have to change. There's a plastic clip right here that rides on the worm gear. There's a black metal screw right here. We're going to take that out. And then there's a spring clip on the opposite side. The plastic white plastic clip was here, and the little metal spring clip is right here. There's a black plastic, there's a black uh, screw right here. We're going to take that screw out. Pull that little metal spring clip off. Okay. Okay. Now we have our laser with the white clip and the spring clip put back on it. We're going to install the new laser. Take the rod, put the rod back in. Get the laser back in like so. Push down on the front of the rod so it goes under the spring clip here. See the little spring clip that we did not take out in the front? You want the rod to go under that spring clip. Then you're going to push your laser all the way forward. See how it turns the worm gear? And it actually cocks the back of the rod out. And you slide the rod down in like so. Okay. Now we're going to take the little tab that we bent down. You have to lift up on the front of the rod here. So it goes up to the front tab, then you bend the back tab back up, like so, and we'll put our clip back on the rod. Okay, put our ribbon back in. There's a little tab here, okay, and there's a little tab here. These two tabs, this one and this one, have to line up in the uh, drive. Um, one of them goes in here, and the, and the other one goes right in here. This one here lines up pretty well, as you can see. The bottom one right here, if you look at it, it lines up nice. This one here actually moves. You can see it wobbles a little bit. So what we're going to do is we're going to snap the left side down in place with the clip and I leave the right side of the drive open a little bit. I take a little knife and I go in back of the clip and I can see the little tab and I push the tab back and as I hold the tab back with the knife I slide it close like so. Okay. Now we put our two screws back in it. Put our magnet, make sure there's nothing, no screws stuck to the magnet, that will mess you up. Okay, now we got to drive back together. What I like to do is I don't like to put the top cover on it until I actually put the drive in and test it once. So I leave the cover off of it and I put it back in like so. But we're going to show you how to put the cover back on it. Actually. So after you're through testing it and you know the drive works and it reads, after you put it back in the PlayStation, you got to take it back out and you're going to put the top cover back on it. I always bend this back a little like so, slide it in front first, and drop the back in. Okay, now we'll put our four screws back in. Two black ones go up at the top where the disc inserts, and the silver screws go on the bottom. Excuse me. Okay, there we have it. Fully assembled. 410 laser installed. Thank you for watching another instructional video from pimpmyps3.com.